Hello gamers and welcome to yet another season of Battle Brothers Blazing Desert after I underestimated the uh, nomads and I wanted to capture them but they killed me actually. They were well equipped with shields and stuff. So we have to start yet again and you know third time lucky um, we're going for the Manhunters background again. If you want to see show me the details and everything check out season 6 which is the first season of uh, Blazing Desert's um, content that I uploaded where I explained a little bit more about the changes made to the game. Basically, if you are new to Battle Brothers, this game is a tactical RPG and you travel a world map a bit like uh, Pirates or Mount and Blade uh, with absolutely fantastic tactical battles. So we're going to go for a different um, symbol this time because it didn't bring us luck and a different name for the company as well. Um, let's go for maybe this one. The Slavers. Holy War is a new endgame crisis where the uh, nobles fight against the uh, three city-states in the deserts for holy sites. We try to get there, obviously. Not sure if we will. We play on, again on veteran combat difficulty. Um, high starting funds to get us, you know, kick-started. Anyway, let's call the seed slavers. Feel free to use the map seed if you want to play on the same map. Iron Man mode, as usual. Unexplored map for more excitement. That's also new. Um, basically, you start with Fog of War on the entire map and not just parts of it. Um, here we go. Let's see if we can do better this time. So first time my, I lost my company basically because I didn't pay enough attention to the ratio between slaves and slavers. Um, second campaign, I estim second go, I underestimated the nomads. So it was over after like 50 minutes. Um, yeah, new mechanics, new opponents. Um, you need to get used to that a bit. It's still a bit embarrassing to die that early, I think. But yeah, what shall I do? Okay, there's a place, the city. Up here is the retinue, in case you're new. Quickly show you, you can recruit people later. Based on renown, first time. Uh, 250 renown and they give you buffs basically and help you customize your band of brothers so these are our slaves in the front row he's bright he's got sure footing he is actually a decent fighter to be honest slave melee also melee defense is really nice with the stars, it helps leveling up. And this guy is also, a, well, Fear of the Undead is not so good. Weasel is good. The Northerner, he's a uh, slave melee. Oh, he's a super slave. Uh, not for because of his health, but because of the melee skill. Disloyal, they are content being in reserve. And leave faster, so it's actually not that good because they are always content and reserve the slaves. Um, slave super melee. And then we've got this guy. It's another melee guy. And you know, the thing is, lots of new builds will appear because they can only level up to level 7. So Yazia the Stoic, he's quite nice here with 61. And this Manhunter, it's a new Manhunter background, is not quite as good. Yeah, I'll use him for frontline duty to be honest. He will cover the flank. Maybe like so. And you get the bandages. Okay, let's travel to Java and see if we can recruit some slaves. 
or buy some slaves, I should say. Have a silk farm, goat pants, incense dryer. Turn on the volume a tiny little bit. Okay. Now, these are the new cities. There are also arenas where you can fight in, but our we don't have people that are good enough. There's a day tailor. There's a slave. Yeah, very good. Let's take him. You need to have more than 50% slaves. Oh, he's going to be a decent ranged guy for a slave. Okay, he will always start at wavering morale. It doesn't really matter because we will whip him anyway. And he's a brute damage on hit to the head. Does that apply to... Okay, that's only in melee. I think. Okay. So we need a ranged weapon now. There are javelins. There's even a bow. I think I'll go for the bow this time. Let's also get some decent armor. Okay, and some headgear. Still have some coins. A pitchfork would be welcome. So I can have someone in a second line fighting as well. Let's see how that will look. So his armor is now currently not so good, so my best guys get this armor, of course. And then I've got these uh, melee guys, who are pretty decent. Lots of pretty decent melee guys, actually. Um, I will actually put this super good guy in the second uh, row. Uh, and I'm missing one frontline guy, so I will use him in the front line. And he will get this. You will get some leather wraps at oh, you will get some leather wraps at least. Well, optically, this fits better here, this fits here, this fits here. And the guy on the sides gets the spear. One more piece of headgear would be nice. But there's none. Okay, let's take on the job. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we need to be deal. We need to deal with cutthroats. Okay, we're getting some crowns. I accept this contract. You know, there's a conflict between the, I think, story-wise, a con uh, con um, competition also between the uh, city-states and the nomads. And I think we're going to recruit this guy because we've got one, two, three, four, five indebted. So I think even if one dies, we are rather safe and hire one guy. We can use him. He's actually a good melee guy. So let's put him to use. Okay-ish armor, which basically means he gets this one. And you get this one, and you lose your head, I'm sorry, because he's in the front line. And he's actually slave. They don't need names. They need to earn their names first. Also going to get rid of this. It's just using up space. Okay, they are over here. Let's go. We've got eight guys, which is a decent force. 
And I need to be very careful not to lose anyone. That's Oh, damn it. This guy wasn't actually a slave, was he? Okay, he's just a day tailor. He is called... Uh, let's call him... Lawrence Melee S me Melee Plus is shorter than Super Melee. Okay. Unknown Garrison. We don't have really any good scouts yet or something. If you play, I think, with the uh, poacher background, you even get more information. It's evening still, so we can attack. It's going to be melee, a melee engagement anyway. Cut, could be up to seven, I think. One, two, three, four, five. And luckily only one with a shield. Okay, and you can start. Well, I actually have him wait. Oh, I should have whipped him. But I'm going to wait with him as well. Because they will come closer. But he can start whipping. Now, whipping the slaves um, gives them bonuses to their stats for two rounds. It's super important. Like plus 10 melee attack, melee defense, or, so, or me yeah, something like that. We can see it here plus 10 melee skill, range skill, resolve, initiative, defense, a bit plus as well. They're coming closer. Now the chance to hit with the bow is lower than with the um, throwing weapon, but it's three tiles away anyway. So the bonus is not, not key, I think. So he is not yet whipped. There we go. You're welcome. And let's whip him. I'm not going in to engage. I think I'll have them attack me once. Or should I engage? Maybe I should actually. I should. I can't wait with him, but I can try to hit his head. And I hit it. Stunned. Very good. And with these two, I can engage him. On the other hand, he can't move anymore. So I'll make a spear wall. And then he can also shoot at this guy. And he can try to disarm someone. 19%, 34%. Okay. Can you maybe hurt him? Yeah, as soon as they've got armor, it's not super effective, the whip, for dealing damage. But it can also cause bleeding damage. Okay, that's good. That's not so good. And he can now also move forward and still attack. And I think he's going to attack him because um, the significantly higher chance to hit. Even though he's stunned. Now he will move in and I will try to stun this guy. And I don't. Okay, they're throwing sand at the stoic guy. Okay, they are killing him. This is very bad. He will move. He won't move. Okay, that's <clears throat> that's the only good thing. I need to try to kill them off before they... Okay. Not quite so good. Very bad. If I kill him, maybe get, they get a bit demoralized. Okay, maybe with the bow guy. No. Are you kidding me? No one is sitting and he can't escape. That's a bit of a problem. Try to hit his head at least. Good. Try to hit his head as well. Good. Okay, I think I'm going to lose him. Wow, 
Or I'll try to disarm. Won't really help much. I'll try to kill him. Demoralize them if possible, but he's not hitting anything. Now these are still stunned, so I need to attack him. Oh shit, he was... I missed that he was um, in the zone of control of this gentleman. Bad mistake. I'll go for his head again. Okay, he's stunned, that's good. The stunning works quite nicely. If I can kill him, that would be fantastic. Should I throw the net? But then they can only... They can't defend themselves properly either. Should have done that in the first round. 61%. And I have the bow guy who has to hit him now, but he doesn't. I can kill him, but they are still in a fighting sp in fighting spirit, and they will now kill him off just about. That sucks. 33% chance to disarm. But they, he does not. Let's whip him. Okay, I'm whip he's whipping everyone, basically. Good. I don't like that he's attacking my archer. This tile is blocked. Let's move him in for the surrounding bonus. You just wait. He unfortunately can't disarm. He's out of stamina. It's probably very stamina consuming. Oh man, that's very bad. That was super annoying. So now I get rid of him, but I've lost two guys, which is like at least one too many. And I wonder why he's still fighting. Yeah, the gun they are. We get some loot at least. And we take a new indebted on board. Because that's what we do. And we've got a replacement for our bow guy. But we've lost the quiver. It's going to be a secondary weapon. And 35 to 40 damage with a Zaif. And the guy on the side gets a shield for the defensive bonus. He's not going to be a damage dealer, but rather a crowd control guy as a spearman. And we will need to travel to another city to find a new adapted because we have like... I would like to see a figure like how many I've got, to be honest, that would be cool. I've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, so that's just about okay. Let's speed things up. Yeah, but the start is bad with losing with losing one guy too many for sure. 
It's also because he had no armor whatsoever. <clears throat> a shepherd and a gladiator. What's the... What? Mm. I'm going to buy some javelins. And some clothing. Alright. Yeah, let's take the job. Let's see what it is. Beasts. Okay, let's do it. 400 crowns. Let's hunt them down. But we're going to go hunting in the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until then, bye for now.